and his wish was to be fully composted, returning 400 pounds of soil. Return home makes this possible by gently transforming human remains into rich soil that supports new life and promotes healthy ecosystems. It is the environmentally friendly alternative to traditional burial in the ground or cremation. In phase one, they first carefully place the body of the deceased on a board where they make a small ID tag that remains on the person until the process is complete. Then they put the tag on his leg and put something under his head so that the family can see him clearly if they want to see him. And then they cover Mr. Skelly until he is ready to be bathed. They all bathe because they think they should go into their vessel clean. Then they dress him in a compostable garment that has been custom made for him. After the bath, Mr. Skelly is ready to go into his vessel where the family can take the time to put things in like letters, cards, or even little jelly beans. This is where his best friend puts his hair. When they have finished, they place the remaining organics. You can stick pictures or other mementos on the container. This process usually takes 30 to 60 days. After the first 30 days, you move on to phase 2 called screening, where all inorganic matter is removed from the compost. In this phase, the bones are also removed and go into a shredder, where they are broken up into small pieces and added to the compost for a further 30 days. Microbes are able to break down the bones completely. After a total of 60 days, the human has become soil. Most families take the entire amount home, which ends up being about 400 pounds of nutrient-rich compost. Each bag has a hand-stamped leaf with the loved one's name, year of birth and year of death. Families are then given a small five-pound bag that looks something like this to hug and hold. If the families don't want it all, they scatter it around their forest, which is in desperate need of regeneration. After they started scattering, they could see so much new growth and life. What do you think of this burial method?